Well, thank you so much for joining us for Fox 43 News at 9. I'm Brooke Huntington. We start tonight with new developments coming out of the state house. Take a listen. But you got to worry about the Indians raiding the town at any time. And they were, they really thought that, you know. Now that right there is Education Commissioner Randy Watson speaking during an education conference last week. Some say the commissioners made discriminatory remarks and are calling for his resignation. Fox 43 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung has been following this story since last week and tracking down the education commissioner today. Well, we've been sticking out here at the state board's office trying to get in touch with the commissioner. Still no sign of him, but we have spoken with one of the Native American lawmakers who say they saw the video. She says it's time for him to resign. He did call me this morning. It was mainly just to apologize for his actions and his insensitivity. Um, but I really didn't have much to say because. Was just still mad. Representative Christina Haswood says it's time for leaders to take action after seeing a video of Kansas Education Commissioner Dr. Randy Watson making discriminatory remarks during an education conference. We're not okay with this. We're not going to take sorry for an answer. In the video, Watson talks about Indians raiding towns in the state. I had some cousins in California. They were petrified of tornadoes. They'd come visit us, you know, in, in, in the summer. They're like, are we going to get killed by a tornado? And I'd say, don't worry about that. But you got to worry about the Indians raiding the town at any time. And they were, they really thought that, you know. We were first alerted to the video last week. Facebook posts about the comments circulating online. After spending days reaching out to the governor's office and the state board with no response, a statement was finally issued by the governor calling for his resignation. The state board says Watson is not available for comment on the issue, but they are holding a special meeting to go over his remarks. Haswood says she's hoping leaders hold the commissioner accountable. I'm hoping that our requests for resignation are respected and granted. Now, part of that hearing taking place here tomorrow morning is going to be an executive session. After that, I'm told possible action could be taken. For now, reporting in downtown Topeka, I'm Rebecca Chung.